Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Nur Hazikah Mitromli. My metric number is 261788. I will presenting on two topic. The first one is the unethical but legal and the second one is the ethical but illegal. On April 15, 2021, a video went viral that took place in Malaysia. The news was released with the headline, Parents Didn't Educate. This video was about Malaysian YouTubers throwing RM10K at public areas. So, what's the issue? A Malaysian YouTuber, the Wire Protest channel with Cruz, had posted a video of themselves throwing RM10K at the public areas. The posted video of their action was for their content in YouTube channel to gain profit. In the video, they threw the money at Bukit Bintang Mall, which is a public area and busy crosswalk. One of the security guard staff immediately went to ask their intention of doing that there. Then they answered that they want to give money for people for free around there. The security guard then told them that they were prohibited from doing that as the area is a private property. The implication was that their action caused disruption to road traffic because the public flocked across the road full of vehicles to cross the road to collect the money spread by the YouTuber crew. The road conditions there also became uneasy and noisy when car drivers keep sounding their horns due to disruption movement to avoid colliding with people who was collecting money scattered on the road. This action is also believed to be done only for abnormalities or unique video content in the YouTube channel to gain high viewer as it will increase their income. Then, why is it unethical but legal? This case is unethical because the wire produces channel YouTuber threw the RM10K and letting the public collect the money that scattered on road like beggars. He has also caused disruption to major vehicular traffic as well as endangered the safety of the public there, giving money by throwing it at the wrong time and place is an unethical act. In legal view, it is not wrong for any individual to want to give money to someone else. In the teachings of Islam, this act is considered as charity that can provide a reduction to the burden of another person who is experiencing financial difficulties. In addition, it is legitimate that the crew of the YouTube channels plan and agree to give money to the public as their video content for their business. According to the second version of Kant's categorical imperative, everyone has a dignity that make them dissimilar from mere objects. One cannot take advantage of others for one's own benefit, but always treat them with rational thought. A rational person is someone who has sense of rational and able to make decision based on intelligent thinking and not based on emotions and greedy act. In this case, the YouTuber must necessarily think about the views of others from various angels, whether the action will be viewed with a positive or negative view. He must also be able to anticipate the implications that will come from his actions. The YouTuber should ask himself first how he would feel on his dignity when collecting the money that is scattered on the street. So, how to improve the condition? Being a YouTuber, he needs to think carefully before acting. The content of the video will be viewed by the entire community and get various comments from various points of view. He needs to assess whether someone does not want to be treated that way and whether his action um, could have negative implications and danger to others. He also needs to have a far-sighted view and a sense of rationality. 
By looking at the intention of those who want to give money to the community, they are supposed to go through uh, right channels. For example, they look for agencies and NGOs that deal with orphanage, uh, nursing home care center, child care center of the social welfare department, which is the JKM, uh, and ETC to provide financial assistance. They should not cause controversy and chaos in the society. The move also invites criticism to the YouTubers and a deterioration of the quality of video message content that is deemed not beneficial to others. From time to time, the numbers of viewers will be decreased too, then affecting their organization's income because viewers and subscribers are their customers. The action that causes a traffic congestion is also a sensitive issue as it causes to the daily affairs and interests of the individuals involved to be temporarily disrupted. As a suggestion in the beginning, they must develop strategies to produce videos that are beneficial and touch the hearts of the community in delivering a particular message without raising issues of disturbing the community and challenging the dignity of others. This selection of good measures and strategies can not only create a harmonious uh, society as everyone dreams of but also benefit the YouTuber because the increase in the number of viewers and subscribers will, de will be definitely bring lucrative results. Early education about caring for and respecting the dignity of others is also important. In fact, people who are public influencers like the YouTuber should also be given this awareness so as not to act like degrading others by making them like beggars in the streets as uh, the youtuber shouted this is how Malaysian while people collecting money on the road the media plays a role in conveying this message of awareness to the society finally they must be aware of their surroundings and think maturely about the sensitivities of life as well as always maintain a rational mindset before taking any action in order to achieve harmony and positivity. Recently, Malaysia went viral with the news that caught the attention of several ministries involved. The issue arose after a former high school student exposed the black side of her school experience and got the public's attention. The news was released on April 23, 2021 with the title It's Unacceptable to Conduct Period Spot Checks in School. Several Malaysian ministers, such as Datuk Seri Rina Muhammad Harun, Minister of Women, Family and Community Development, former ministers Hafidah Aziz and Azalina Osman Sa'i, Dr. Mazli bin Malik, Minister of Education, and Majlis Amanah Rakyat, which is MARA, took action such as the objection and proposal to stop the period spot check in school after some former and current Malaysian students reach out to FMT News for their personal experience. So, what's the issue? The students expose that they have to go through a disgusting experience which is during the period spot check and Ustazah, which is the religious teacher, will put her hand between the student legs to feel if they were a menstrual sanitary pad. There was also the way which the students need to take off their underwear to prove the bleeding of period in front of many other students. They also provided with materials like tissue and cotton bud to smear on vagina. The action of the school is to ensure that Muslim uh, students do not avoid performing prayers intentionally or cheating that they are having a period. This action is considered as an abuse of power and over limits in the teachings of Islam. 
The school's action caused trauma and fear to Muslim female students, including the fear to changing menstrual sanitary pads because they did not want to remove uh, the evidence of their period if there was a period spot check. This poses a problem of hygiene and health of students. There are also students who still pray despite menstrual bleeding due to trauma with the period spot check. From then until now, students felt the action was embarrassing but the culture was accepted as normal practice in both private and public school. Then, why is it ethical but illegal? The case is ethical because the schools want to educate students not to cheat in order not to perform the obligatory prayers. Teachers may feel uh, they play a great responsibility in imparting religious education since they are young. They don't want to bear the sin of taking lightly on students who cheat on prayers. This action also able to give awareness and warning to those students that really cheat and want to cheat to not perform prayers at school. In illegal view, it is wrong for someone to breach others' privacy and private part, as everyone have dignity and rights. The school management actually have no right to touch students' private part and see their period bleeding in that embarrassing manner. According to Kant's categorical imperative first version, the moral principle that states we must act only on the reason that we are willing to act in order for people in similar situations to act. Everyone has their own rights and dignity that cannot be violated by others. In other words, we must act as we agree for others to act in such, in such a way against us as well, out of respect for each other's dignity and rights. This theory is related to the question of reversibility, where the school management, especially the Ustazah, asks herself whether uh, she can accept it or not if she or her daughter is examined for a period spot check in that way. In addition, this case also refers to the second version of Kant's categorical imperative which is never use people only as tools for your purposes but always treat them freely and rationally and they agree to be treated as such and are willing to help them pursue their freely and rationally chosen goals. Schools should be rational and aware of the concept of human rights and freedoms when wanting to assure that students do not want to perform prayers by deliberately cheating because everyone has dignity as according to Kang. Moreover, this issue can be related to the concept of disrespectful practices. One of the practice is violation of person's privacy. The school management desperately want to make sure students do not cheat about menstruation and wants them not to leave the prior procedure at school before going home. This case shows that the school acted in such a way to achieve their objective without considering the feelings of the students as a human being with dignity and rights to privacy. So, how to improve the condition? In societal life, everyone must think wisely before acting. Everyone deserves to be respected for their human rights. Instead of assuming that students cheated not to perform prayers, the schools actually uh, should aware that they fail to educate educate students about the sweetness and goodness of performing congregational prayers. Student management must come up with another new proper way to improve the condition. Firstly, another initiative that teachers can take to train students that cheating is by providing notebooks of counting days and menstrual cycle for Muslim female students. The teacher 
monitors the data recorded in the notebook on a monthly basis. Rational action is taken for suspicious students, such as menstrual bleeding exceeding its limit period. Secondly, conducting educational programs that nurture students to pray at school willingly. The program is like collecting congregational prayer coupons that will be rewarded to those who qualify. In addition, they can also hold a talk program on the topic of why this congregational prayer is very beneficial. Giving comfort to students is also the best course of action. Female students need space and facilities that facilitate their affairs such as the provision of toilets near the surau, also clean and adequate worship clothes. Moreover, the school management should also give awareness to religious teachers who practice the period spot check in such a disgusting way. They need to be enlightened about the limitation. They need to abide by the privacy rights and feelings of students. Next, the practice of period spot check in such a disrespectful manner must be completely removed. Although some communities and teachers feel the action is normal practice in schools, as someone who understands ethics and human rights, the action is clearly not worth taking against students. Students are people who are still growing up and learning about life, including religion. Schools should not be a place that makes them afraid to act according to what they want, should and need. Instead, school must be a place they learn new things.